Amazonian treasures today. I'm talking about a segment as far as, I'm sorry, y'all, rebuilding of the foundations. Um, I know a lot of people has noticed that family ain't family no more. And I'm not saying that the, you know, trigger anybody, shoot, if it's shoot. I don't know, shit, it might be saying it to trigger people. <laughs> but um, family is not family anymore. We, and I noticed that a lot of people have talked about this, and I noticed they noticed the shift. The old ways of the ways that we're doing things are not to be brought into the new. Because we're at a new age and time. So those old traditions and things that we used to do are not going to work for this new age that we're walking into. And we, I just want to touch bases on that, too. Um, a lot of people have grown uh, apart, um, especially during this COVID, um, that COVID season when it first hit. Um, I feel like that was a trick as well to divide families as well. And it's not even that. Our surrounding factors of the way that we uh, have been raised, our environment has shaped us. And as children, we were um, taught to be seen and not heard, not to express our emotions, not to seek help outside of ourselves, keeping our family secrets within ourselves. But sometimes those things need to be um, crumbled down in order for us to move into the new phase of life. Um, we blame our children for the way that they act, but it's some of the things that we carried all over as far as we, when we were children that is not going to help our children because we it's like almost repeating the same cycle over and over. It's time to let your child be able to express themselves and not just that, to tap deeper into your inner child within yourself so that you can be the, the guiding light to be able to change the dynamics of your family. Sometimes we have to invite new traditions, new beliefs in order for things to change. Right now, the energy shift is really working heavily on the fourth and the fifth house. The fourth house deals with um, roots, your ancestry, uh, what is it, your home life, nurturing, uh, genetics, youth, and mother, uh, mothers. The fifth house is dealing with self-expression, passions, fun, creativity, pleasure, casual sex, inner child, and children. A lot of us have built generations um, and have had children out of a lustful background, um, bringing children to the world, not embodying that pure love, not um, knowing what love is. And we have invited children into that, and it's just causing more um, traumas, more generational curses to be built upon us. Uh, and I also want to talk about Thanksgiving. I'm not a person that... How can I say it's for the holidays and stuff like that? Because man-made holidays at that. Um, a lot of people I noticed this has been happening for many years. They have been skipping over the tradition of um, Thanksgiving. And they have whitewashed what Thanksgiving really truly is supposed to mean. Thanksgiving is not supposed to be pushed to just one day of the month. This is something that's supposed to have been... Um, honor throughout our whole life, honoring our ancestors, giving thanks, knowing, um, how can I say, practicing gratitude, knowing what we are experiencing, they have paved the way for us to get there, and just showing gratitude, because we, we could have been having to fight that mission, but God put them in the predicament, because they were strong enough to handle that, now it's our job to um, understand those lessons and the things that we experience in life and embody it. It's like being at um, the finalization of taking the exam and getting ready to graduate, which you add four and five together up, that's the ninth house, which represents spirituality, philosophy, seeking, expansion, higher education, religion, travel, and legal. A lot of us are going to find out a lot about our family um, during this phase of our life. Um, learning about secrets and stuff like that that has been hidden from your family and different things like that. Things that needs to be fixed and uncovered to break those generational curses. Because as long as we stay in that energy of not healing ourselves, and I mean tapping into those inner child wounds, it's a lot of things that people are experiencing that are coming up from the past that you have experienced as a child, but it's put in place. Don't look at it as bad stuff like bad juju on you or stuff like that. Sometimes God put, bring those things to the forefront for you to, um, to fix that. 
because we are the God and light to help our next generation. <coughs> Excuse me. To help our next generation to exceed. We are the people to wake up. This this generation that we that I'm a part of, we are here to wake up the masses. Our children are going to be the ones to carry out the mission. And understanding that there are seven levels of life, um, our life, um, seven stages of growth, which I call that the uh, <clears throat> the Jacob's ladder, ladder, the seven levels of ascending and understanding it. Um, we learn lessons throughout life, um, the um, throughout life that's going to help us, and that's going to we're going to have to embody within ourselves and to put it into action in order to heal our generational curses that we have um just give me a second i'm trying to get to the point um, to the page where i wrote this information now this has been information that has been uh, put in here and i don't want to be known as a gatekeeper or withholding information that could be you know positive to anybody and that can help our family dynamics grow and like i said just going back to like families aren't families anymore we don't sit at the table like how we used to talk to you know have those meetings talk about how everybody's day has been going seeing what's going on with that next family member and stuff like that and um i just had we just had recent death in our family and it made me really understand the value of family and why family needs to come together because we are as weak as our strongest link and you looking at it as an individual um thing yes you have to fix yourself as an individual but overall Fixing our family dynamics would also help us fix ourselves because this is something that is a part of us. And knowing our true self because if we know of the things that our family have experienced and why we're here, that will help us to fix our family dynamics and to adopt new beliefs or new behaviors and habits that will correct us and help our family ascend. I mean, I said ascend to ascend. And the seven late uh, seven stages of um well seven stages of ages, we are taught different lessons throughout those seven stages, which is gonna help us with the final exam when it's time to go to our north node, or how can I say our spiritual purpose, our soul purpose. Uh, we learn things at the stage of infancy, boyhood, youth, manhood, middle age, old age, and death. We learn about different things in those different stages of life to overall get us to the place that we need to be to gain that generational wealth to break those generational curses and um when i say family is not family anymore it's not because we have not took the time to spend with each other and COVID played a, lot, a major part in it to break up our family dynamics and the seven stages of what i call the seven heavens of life um what i call the jacob's ladder is um humility charity chastity gratitude temperance patience patience and diligence you will experience those not i'm not saying in their order but you will experience those different things in your path of your seven stages of life in order for you to build that strong foundation for the next generation because we have a lot of our generation that we have <clears throat> brought into this world that we have um, just completely screwed it up, getting into relationships, loveless relationships, being with a partner, basing it off, not off the soul level, but also off of the physical, things that are appeasing to our vessel, but not the soul. Have you ever asked the inner child, your inner child is your soul, what does your soul want? And the desires that is truly aligned with us. We have strayed away from that. We have been going off our own understanding instead of the understanding of what is truly what we're supposed to see. And it has been hard because we have not tapped into those emotional traumas as a um, as an individual. We have to start somewhere in order to balance the shadow and light aspect of yourself, the feminine and masculine aspect. Everybody has this within them. But in order for you to be able to as say as how can I say ascend through these each stages you have to balance that within each of those stages of yourself 
we have different outside um, forces that are going to be working with us. Our environment does shape us how we are, but it's not us to be conformed and just give up and just go off there and adopt those things because it is something that we have carried on through the years and like, okay, my mother has done this, so this worked for her, but it might not work for you because you're we were born in different timelines. If you're understanding what I'm saying. Um, and a lot of us are not pleased with life and the way that life has gone. We don't want to live life and end up dying and not being fulfilled and fulfilling those desires in order to give, even if it's just something small, just healing emotional traumas within our, uh, within our family dynamic. We, you have done that. You have put your family closer to solve a generational curse and to build that generational wealth to setting those foundation. You may think your part that you play on this earth is insignificant, but it is great. It's going to be a part of a whole collective of what you're supposed to be doing. Everybody has their part that they have, they have to play. And um, pretty much right now, in order, and this goes back to even the seven chakras within us. These are what we embody within our vessel, fixing those things, um, loosening those bondages and those things that bound those chakras to have it closed off. We're supposed to be operating at the highest frequency of love and that's why god takes us through a lot of lessons with humility putting people in certain situations that you were laughing about the next person with sometimes that can be your very very reality because god wants you to look at the person's situation with fresh eyes what if that was you in that situation we have we as people and humans we lack empathy and that is not going to get us to where we need to be laughing at the next one. That can be very you, be very much you the next day. It's helping those family members or not even family members. Um, and I'm not just talking about a family that you were born with. People that are a part of your soul tribe. The people that are close to your heart that God has led you, led you along your path. They are very significant. Some people last for a season. Some people last for a lifetime. And those ones that last for a lifetime... Um, their family just throughout, but some people are put in your in your life for a season because they might have to work with you or collaborate with you in order to learn this lesson. And why not match these two people up together in order for that? It's not nothing is meant to hold on into life. We're supposed to be able to be in the energy of letting go. And that's why we are stuck in cycles for a long time just as a family. And I see it happening a lot with the melanin group. We suffer from that a lot because um, we're so passive. We hold on to things that is not benefiting us, practices, beliefs, things that we adopted and said this is a part of our tradition. Sometimes it's meant for us to change the trajectory of our traditions and our lifestyle in order to move forward. And also, we're destroying our kids, staying stuck in that energy. We're not looking into it, what it is that we need to fix. We're just, how can I say, passing the baton of bad habits. We're not passing the baton to allow growth. And it's time to stop that. And a lot of us don't like to admit as parents that we have broken our children. I am one of those parents that I have been through a lot of things through life. That not, I'm thinking that it just affected me, but it has affected my children as well. And the way they think and the way that they're operating in life. And we have to take responsibility for that. Yes, it's not saying that being harsh on yourself, but being gentle with yourself. And looking into it and knowing that you have caused these changes. Not necessarily for the good, but it, you do have the ability to change that over and to make progression in a, in a better direction. Because like I said, we are the ones to wake up the generation, but they're the ones who carry out the missions. We want those them to be strongly, strong mentally, physically, and spiritually. So when it, they come against these things that we have experienced in life, that's why we're learning these lessons to pass down those memories and things like that are the information we have collected along our life to pass down to them. So when these things arise in their life, that they will be able to handle it. And be disciplined within their self to be able to handle that task. Having a plan A, B, C, and D. And knowing to have those, how can I say, being prepared. Preparation is very important for growth. 
But a lot of us are um has been spiritually elevated. We have been ascending. Are you getting ready to ascend? Um how can I say fulfilling your purpose as far as what it is that you need to do, understanding why you're here. We signed a soul contract before we came down here that only you and God know. When you were placed here, your soul is your guiding light. That is your lantern to show you what it is. Sometimes our countries and our higher countries are at a constant war within ourselves. It's not even the outside external forces. Yes, it plays a part in it, but we're at war within ourselves where we can't see because we are allowing our lower conscious, that lower vibration of ourself, our south note part of ourself, to be the driver of our vessel. When the whole time our higher frequency, our higher self, our higher knowledge, I mean, I said higher knowledge, I mean, the, how can I say, the higher part of ourself, the, um, our soul, we're not letting it be the driver of our destiny. We, a lot of us, us has been operating on auto, autopilot, being okay with just getting by and being okay with not tapping into those emotional traumas and different things like that. It's time for us to get ourselves off of autopilot because we are, as we are being an autopilot, we are teaching our kids to be an autopilot. And that is not good because it's just literally carrying on. It's no growth there. It's nothing changing. We're carrying, they're carrying on the things that we have built within us that has played thus and it's just passing on uh, passing on down it's time to put our foot down and stop those generational curse we don't want to keep on building on generational curse and traumas allowing your children to express themselves like i said when we we're children we're children supposed to be seen and not heard and as a mother i have done that as far as my children because this is something that you know i was taught but it's time to let our kids express themselves because sometimes even even throughout this journey, my kids have helped me so much. I mean, and I feel like I should tell them a lot more or whatever. I do have conversations and stuff with them or whatnot. But they have helped me heal certain traumas and things about myself, making me see in a different perspective. And, seeing, and sometimes it's, it's good to see with younger eyes because sometimes they see things that we don't see because they're still pure. Because we have embodied these things from the past. We're going based off of, of experience. Yeah, we learn through experience, but I mean, everybody learns through experience, but they have a certain type of knowledge that we don't possess because how can I say we have been tainted? Our energy has been tainted because we have taken on these um, tradition, these beliefs or whatever, and it has had a stronghold on us that we would not release them. And seeing our kids grow up and stuff like that, don't shut them out. Allow them to express themselves to, uh, to allow them to change your perspective. Because sometimes kids have a certain innocence that allow us to, that uh, they see the world from a different light than what we are. We're so played with what the things that we have put into our life and invited in our life that we can't see outside of that. But um, that is all that I have for y'all. I'm going to touch bases a little bit more. But these are the things that are needing to be fixed in order for us to set those foundation and those roots. Learning about our ancestry. Stop just going based off of what people are telling us about our family. Research your roots. Learn about it. And I'm not talking about going to ancestry.com type of stuff. I'm talking about really going around having those meetings, sitting down, talking to your elderly that are in your family and seeing what it is about your family. This is how we're going to understand and see where those generational curses um, started in. Talking to your family members. Like I said, family ain't family no more. We don't sit down. We don't talk to each other. We are so busy living our life that when a family member dies, that's the only time that we come together and um, talk about things. No, that is not the way that life's supposed to go. We're supposed to be able to be in tune with our family. And like I said, I'm not just talking about physical family. People that you call your friends, your family, the people that are close to your heart, that holds a, heart, a place in your heart space. It's time for us to do that and wake up and to change those things. Talk to our elderly, get that information, get that wisdom in order to know what is the stepping stone that we need to change. Because they did their job. The elderly are growing weak and weary and it's time for them to pass the baton. They're tired. It's time for us to step up and to do the things to carry on our generation. The stuff that they instilled in us 
Yes, they and it's um it might be good or bad, but it's up to us to have use that discernment within us to see what traditions are we going to carry on. Um, we might not have the blueprint, but we are going to pass on as we pass. I mean, you know, pass on these things. Uh, generation to get stronger because now we're plucking those things out of our DNA that is not good. It's upgrading your own DNA. And when I say DNA, I'm not just talking about physical blood. These, I mean, well, yeah, in a sense, but these things are start be these good habits to start being instilled within us in our memory banks and stuff like that. And we'll be able to pass it on. And it's just like having dogs. And stuff like that. They make certain genetics together in order to make a powerful dog. In order for us to do that, we have to create genetics within ourselves so that the next generation will be smarter, stronger, and more prosperous. And like I said, I am Amazonian treasure. And like I tell you, I'll be better than you was yesterday. And let that growth and let your higher self be the, the driver of your soul. I mean, of your vessel. Thank y'all.